All right, guys, chances are if you are watching this video, that means that you have already done one of the things that I need you to get done for today, which is this cell organelle minute to win it. Just get it done and submit it. Okay, I don't want you to spend a whole lot of time on it. The other thing that needs to get done today or needs to get worked on today is the cell organelle research, which you can see right here. Now, we started this on Friday. Uh, this was a lot about structure and function. So we've already done a little bit of this. When you click on that link, it takes you to a page that looks like this, which the Cami link to the assignment, which you've already opened, is down here. Uh, but it also includes a few links that will help you. Now, we are going to use an app. Uh, the app is called iCell, and it's located in the Google Play Store. However, we've been having some problems where some people can get it and some people cannot. So if you can, great. Uh, if you can't, it's not a big deal. There's a, a web version of it anyway, and it's just linked right here. I'll show you that here in a second. But there's some videos. There's some links that will be helpful for you answering some questions. And again, some, some more resources uh, for some of the assignment coming up a little bit later. This assignment in Cami looks like this. Okay, it is the cell organelle research. Here is that opening video that Ted Ed, a lot of you have already done this. Uh, this part is on the structure and function. So a super important part, the jobs of the cell and understanding cell size. Okay, now jobs of the cell, this is actually pretty simple. You just kind of have to look at the pictures and the descriptions and then match the four terms up here with which one they represent. It's a pretty simple thing. Uh, this one down here, you may have to use some of the resources. Uh, this goes back to the understanding cell size resources that you'll probably have to use there. Now, this page, though it looks intense, if you just read the direction, it says circle the organelle that is inside of the plant cell, but not in the animal cell. Guys, this is as simple as find an organelle that's in this plant cell that is not in this plant cell. Okay, and it should be pretty obvious for this one too, but it's just circling, nice and simple. The big task is going to be filling out this table, which is all of the individual organelles, a picture of it, the function of that organelle, in what cells we find it, and then was it in the lab? And if it was, how did a station represent it? This is where that iCell app is gonna come in handy. Let me show you how that thing works. So I have the web version. You guys could have the what could have the app. You could be using this link. Doesn't mind. Again, if you need to see where that is, it's either here, I sell, or it's up here, I sell. Click on it anywhere. But once you load it, it'll kind of take you to a page that gives you some options. You can click on an animal cell, a bacteria cell, or a plant cell. For for just simplicity, I'm going to click on animal cell. And it'll open a page that can show me a three-dimensional model of an animal cell. This is really cool. Okay, now to move this thing around like this, you have to click and drag. Uh, I'm doing that in the or on my computer, probably a little hard for you to tell, but I'm clicking and dragging. And then what else you can do is you can start clicking around on some of these things. So I'm going to click on this blue looking Cheeto thing, which is right there, and it'll zoom in. It'll tell me that it's the mitochondrion, which the mitochondrion is known as the powerhouse of the cell and produces energy to fuel cells activities. So what you would do on the lab then is you would take a picture of the mitochondria. You would describe its function in this column, which we already established is producing energy to fuel the cells activities. Then you will need to say, okay, in what cells do we find this organelle? So you need to go in the bacteria and the plant cell and see if you can even find it. If you can't find it, then it's just in the animal cell, but you have to look. And then the last part is, was this organelle in the lab? If yes, how did the station represent it? I will give you a clue. The mitochondria was in the lab. So you need to go back to the minute to win it lab and kind of figure out which one of those stations was in the lab or which one was the mitochondria and then try to make some sort of comparison between what you did in the lab and what the organelle actually does. Okay, now you got to do that for all these different organelles. Okay, this will take a little bit of time, so I want you to get a good jump start on it today with the with the uh, the application. Um, let me point out a couple of things. Notice how I can click on basic, intermediate, or advanced. Don't go anywhere near intermediate or advanced. It becomes too difficult. So stay basic. Okay, stay very very basic. All right. Um, some of the other stuff in here, just to show you, 
you, you may have to click on some things uh, that kind of look invisible. So I'll show you another one where I just kind of click in this space and I click in the space and it's actually a cell membrane, like this little bubble that forms around the cell. That's the cell membrane. Another kind of a goofy one is you may notice that when you click on this big yellow thing, it highlights the endoplasmic reticulum, but you'll notice within this definition, there's a hidden organelle. And it says the endoplasmic reticulum aids in the transport of proteins made by ribosomes, which are those small structures on the surface. So ribosomes make proteins and the endoplasmic reticulum aids in the transport of those proteins. So kind of two organelles hidden into one click on this one, just pointing that out. Okay. Now, once you get all those organelles done, if you do, you got one question under here, and then you get to some labeling in which I've given you a word bank for each of these different cells. Okay. So you've got the animal cell, plant cell, and the bacteria cell. And then there's one final page where you're just doing some matching with some letters. Okay. Um, guys, listen, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, I will be back tomorrow to help you out. And if you need time during Panther time or period eight, something like that, uh, I will definitely be available to help you. We'll even get some class time, I think, uh, to be able to do this as well. So do your best. Uh, and I really want you to try to push as far as you can into this into this uh, cell organelle research. Okay, I want to see some good solid work on this today. All right, let me know if you guys have any questions and I will see you guys tomorrow.